Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I paint buttercream flowers on a cake. For this cake we're using four colors, two shades of pink and two shades of green. One darker, one lighter. And I'm also adding some white buttercream onto our palette just so we can mix this in as we go. To decorate this cake I'm using this palette knife set that I found off Amazon. So to begin decorating the cake I'm using the thinnest palette knife and I'm picking up some of that darker green that we had made. I'm starting off at the very bottom of the cake and I'm going to gently drag this up. So I'm dragging up some a little higher than others, just because I want it to look a little random. And after we do that, then we're going to go in with our lighter shade of green and just blend this in. And you're just going to repeat this process all around the cake. To start the flowers, I'm using a bit of that dark green. I placed it in a piping bag with the number two tip, and I'm just gonna pipe on some stems. And then I'm going in with one of my palette knives, and I'm just kind of brushing a few petals on. Um, <laughs> this is really hard to explain, but just keep adding and taking away until it resembles a flower. And then once you're done with the first color, you can layer on more colors. So right here I started off with the lighter pink and then I added on some of the darker pink. And really it's just a matter of taking off and adding more buttercream as needed until it resembles a flower. Now for the second flower, I'm painting on five petals with the lighter shade of pink and then I'm going in with that darker shade in the center of it. For our leaves, I'm using our thin palette knife again. And I'm grabbing a tiny bit on the tip of the knife and sweeping it up till it creates a point. And then I'm gonna layer on some of our lighter green. And to continue, we're going to just pipe on a few more stems and add more flowers. And I decided to go back into that second flower that we created and I added a bit of white into the center. And for most of the flowers on the cake, I'm using the same technique that I did for the first two. I'm just using different color combinations and making them different sizes. It's really hard to mess up on this cake because your flowers don't have to be perfect. If you're not liking what you did, then just go back in, add a bit more buttercream, and you can always make a larger flower to cover up what you didn't like. Now for this next flower, I just picked up a bit of pink buttercream and I'm just sweeping it up. And the next flower is basically the same technique, I just layered on the colors for this one. So for this next flower, I laid down three large petals with a big spatula. And then I went in with the smaller spatula and added in the darker shade of pink to the center. And for the rest of the cake, I'm just using the same techniques that I had showed for the first few ones. And just doing different sizes, different color combinations. Once you finish painting all your flowers, you can go back in and fill in any gaps with some extra leaves. You can leave your cake as is, or you can go in and add a few pearl sprinkles and a little gold leaf like I did. 
If you guys get a chance to recreate this cake, definitely tag me in your photos on Instagram. I'd love to see what you guys create. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next week.